guys! Today we're gonna make a barrel organ. Is it a one-string instrument? No, Sammy, but it's just as simple to play it. A barrel organ is activated by turning a crank. So just as soon as you turn it, the rows of pipes start playing music. Uh, Sue, it seems like you should know the chords anyway. Cause here you'll also deal with music. <laughs> no, all the chords will be set in advance, so I won't even have to know what the notes look like. By the way, they sound really strange. I mean, their names are do re mi Oh, there's a very interesting fact about these names. Each note is named after the first letters of each phrase from the hymn Unt Quant Laxis. Guys, do you have any idea what she's talking about? <laughs> it's a very well-known medieval hymn that was chanted at Vespers. Interesting. Thumbs up if you didn't know that, too. Classical music used to be very close to religion. Actually, it was kind of a mix of church and secular music. Like how pop music sometimes mixed with rap? <laughs> Great example, Sammy. Guys, check out these colored keys. Each key has its own color, just like each note has its own sound. And we can hear it for ourselves right now. Sounds nice, but kind of simple. <laughs> Hold your horses, Sam. When we finish our barrel organ, we'll get a way more complicated sound. Now we'll make a stand for the central part. It's a mechanism that will play different chords automatically. Sam, where are you anyway? Oh no, what a big mistake! An organ is a huge musical instrument with several keyboards and an endless amount of pipes. I think she will be very surprised. Guys, just imagine how many cool TikToks I can make with this musical instrument. <laughs> I can't wait to start. Sue, I've got bad news for you. You'll have to learn chords and play several keyboards simultaneously. What are you talking about, Sammy? Whoosh! I'm talking about that giant organ that I saw in the picture. Let me show you. Uh, let's try my magic on this piano. Bibbity, bobbity, subscribe Didn't work. Uh, but I'm telling you, Sue, playing the organ is hard. Sammy, you're confusing two musical instruments. You're talking about a classical organ, and we're gonna have a barrel organ. Totally different. Uh, Phew, I thought that giant instrument would defo sound heavy. <laughs> You're right, Sammy. A classic organ is used for special events. Its magnificent sound creates a unique atmosphere. Huh, that's interesting. It's like wearing a business suit at home and at the office. That would be strange. Although, how would I know? <laughs> Guys, our stand is ready. Let's attach it to the base like that. Check how it works. It's so cool, right? It's time to make the central part of the craft. It'll be round because it'll be spinning. I can't imagine how long it takes to write music for the classic organ. Actually, not that long. Professional musicians used to write a new composition every week. But that was their job, so they kind of had no choice. Did you know that Bach wrote over 1,000 compositions? Well, that's not surprising. 1,000 is not surprising? Although we probably have done more crafts than that. <laughs> it's just that in the past, the aristocracy was keen on music. Like how everyone is keen on TikTok? <laughs> Kinda. I mean, every person had to be good at music. <laughs> Easy, I listen to music every day. No, 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 Sammy. All aristocrats were perfect pianists. Most all of them could write music for different instruments. That's a very serious hobby. <laughs> right. But nowadays, everyone knows how to make a TikTok. Every time period has its own trend, but sometimes old trends come back, but in a new form. Yeah, so today we have so many masks on Instagram. So cool! <laughs> yeah, but many years ago, Venice was a very popular place for actual masks. You see, people adored them because during carnivals, they could dress however they wanted. I always dress as I want. Back then, people had to dress according to their profession and social status. Oh, uh, now I get why they enjoyed carnivals so much. Uh-huh. Luckily, we can dress our barrel organ as we like. Check out all these pieces. Huh. I wonder how slimes were supposed to dress back then. Oh. Maybe, like, slimes? Something colorful and... Fancy. <laughs> By the way, carnivals are still very popular in Italy and in some other countries. So what are we waiting for? Let's do our own carnival! Great idea, but first we need to finish our street organ. Let's speed it up. That's better. 
Guys, hit the bell button not to miss our next carnival. Are you planning to have several of them, Sammy? Two, the carnival of Venice lasts one month and I can squeeze a couple of them during that time. Huh. Well, why not? Carnivals are really fun. <laughs> it's gonna be super fun with our barrel organ. Okay, guys, we finished the first and most important part, but we still have a lot to do. So stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Now we need to make a case for these pieces. They'll be inserted into the barrel of the organ in a certain order. And then they'll make the round pieces move and hit the keys. That's how the music will be created. Shoo! I decided to become a composer! Great idea! Uh, what genre? I can't say exactly! But it's gonna be cool! Actually, opera! It's really catchy. There's always a deep meaning. But what? Like classic music? I'll create my own genre. Sam music! Ooh, sounds great! What mood will your music convey? Because a composition in Baroque style can convey only one mood, for example. Even still, the composition lasts for more than 10 minutes. No, no, no. I want to have different vibes. Fun, happiness, joy, maybe euphoria. <laughs> I think I'll be a big fan of Sam music. Well, our case is ready and we can move to the last part of our craft. a simple but very beautiful melody on our street organ. You'll need this, right? Yes. As I said, we need to insert these pieces in a certain order to actually get a melody. So, guess what instrument will be the main one for the Sam music genre? <laughs> I've no idea. What do you guys think? So, it's simple, a street organ! Oh, I should have guessed. Oh, but I need to learn these notes. Oh, too difficult. No worries, learning notes can be very fun. You can sing and learn at the same time. It's the best way to study you can imagine. I think I can try that. Now our street organ is ready to play a cool melody for you guys. Come on, try to guess the song. Any ideas? I'll give you a hint. It's a kid's song about a bus. I can't hold it any longer! It's wheels on the bus! <laughs> it's time for a second melody. Now we're going to play a very famous song. It's called Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Yeah, this song helps children remember animal names. Exactly! I remember singing it when I was a little girl. Let's enjoy it! And you guys stay tuned, something special's waiting for ya! Well guys, are you ready for our rousing carnival? Ready when you are, Shoo! Start the music! Dance, Sammy! Come on and dance! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, Shoo, it's my turn now! <laughs> well, alright. Now you dance, Shoozie! So, you're doing your nails again? <laughs> Sammy, a young talent should look splendid on screen. In our videos, I should look fabulous as well. But I don't remember us doing anything to keep my slime fresh. What? But you get really good sleep. Right? Good sleep? I don't remember the last time it happened. It's because you stopped singing lullabies to me. That's all you need for a good night's sleep? Well, also, I... Shh. Say no more. This sleep robot will play an awesome melody for you. Are you sure it will help? I am sure. It's Steampunk Music Box. My name is Orpheus 
AM601. So are we gonna examine the box or assemble my robot? <laughs> Sammy, I like your passion. Let's open it. Three, two, one. Here we go. So many small and various parts. Hmm. <laughs> it will be interesting. Wow, it's a whole new world for creativity! With a unique design. That's quite a challenging puzzle. But with these detailed instructions, I'm not afraid of anything. This won't be an easy one. I can manage the process, but first, give me the instructions, please. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. First, we need to start. <laughs> Sammy meant that first we need to take out the parts. So we push out the parts and start assembling. Like this. Now when all the parts are ready, we can start assembling. Whoa, 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 don't rush, Susan. Here comes the great decorator. I examined the object closely and realized it lacks color. You're right, let's make it bright. Our robot will be bright yellow like the sun. Just a little more. And our first part is ready. Now we add a bit of pink for our heart. <laughs> this part is pink just like our Sammy. This robo heart is coming out real cute. Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree. Susan, tell me, do all robots sprout leaves in the spring? No, Sammy, only ours. It's an unusual one. Let's fill it with green pigment. In nature, it is chlorophyll. It catches sunlight and produces nutrients for the plant. Yep, and the cold destroys it. That's why in autumn leaves turn yellow and fall down. Sammy, I'm really impressed by your knowledge. And? <laughs> it was your idea to decorate, so follow my hands. Because you'll need to assemble and paint the parts the same way. Wang did a great master need advice from an apprentice. The parts will be ready before our viewers can bat an eye. Guys, support Sam with thumbs ups and don't bat an eye. So, all the parts are ready and we start assembling. I guess our great master is already done. Sam! Huh, I hear the sounds of hard work. I think I should check on him. Sammy, are you sleeping? Uh, no, no, just getting inspired. <laughs> Am I seeing things or is your mustache coming off because of your lies? I was just counting parts. One, two, three. Sam! Then what did the viewers give you thumbs ups for? Thumbs up? Oh, guys, I'll do better and make everything right away. Here's an interesting part. These are the feelers for our robot. We should connect it to this part as the base. Great. Here, we need to be more focused and creative. Like when we were painting the parts. <laughs> and these cute thingies will connect the core segments. The part looking like a cello goes here. Awesome! Hop! We connect both parts and get a real robot arm! Here I am, as promised, I assembled the arm! Great job, Sammy! And one more moment! I am Robo Sam! My mission is to save humanity from candy invasion! <laughs> Sam, you devour candies faster than they're produced. I'm just doing my best to tackle the machine and assemble the robo parts accurately. I just didn't manage to paint them. It's okay, we'll fix it now. A little bit of magic. That's what I call efficient and well-coordinated work. Right, Sammy? <laughs> The most important part of our robot is the musical heart. This key will help us to find the right melody. A couple of turns and the music will start playing. Yeah. 
Now we need to secure it in the center of the body. Here goes the screw. We tighten it a bit. Great! Let's try to match the melody to the color scheme of our heart. Shoo, leave it to me! I know how music and colors correlate better than anyone! Well then, here you go, maestro. The fame is already at my door. So, it looks like the technical part is on me. I have to assemble all the parts before Sam is back. By connecting these parts, we get the blocking mechanism. Let's check how it works. Awesome! And this part should be at the bottom base of the body. Later, we'll attach the legs of our robot here. Like this. Perfect! We add another silver element and secure the result with one more part. Carefully. Done! Just a bit more and we're going to attach the arms. But first, let's prepare everything for the big moment. There we go. Now we have all that we need. This is how we attach the robo-arm. We only need to secure it. That's what this unusual part is for. Wow, I like the result. I guess it's time to attach the motor. Awesome! Our robot is growing right before our eyes and it is so adorable! Susie, our music will play with the brightest colors! Sammy, it's incredible! You are a real master of colors. We just need to glue a couple of parts. Susie, it's your job since you're the construction engineer. <laughs> yes. Here we should be very careful. We apply small glue drops like this and place the circular part. This painted cog goes inside. Our front panel is almost ready. Now we can attach it to the robot. I'm so happy with the way it's coming out. Just a bit more. Awesome! Now we carefully connect the upper part to the lower one. And secure both parts. Guys, I have another surprise for Sam, which will light up our robot. We can use this opening to switch the light on. The final step is our robot's head. There will be cute cogs like this. We should place the part on top of the body. And secure it well. Add a bit of decor. And small but important parts. Now I'll check if the mechanism is ready to move along with the melody. Patient Sammy, soon you'll hear the whole melody. A couple more parts and our robot will be ready. By the way, you came just in time. Hey, that was mine! But I don't mind if it's for our robot. <laughs> Wonderful, Sammy. Because our robot… is… ready! Here's an antenna to catch signals from space. And the plant, of course. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. We can't do without them. One goes here… And the second one here. Yay! Susie, the robot is ready. I'm ready too. Where is my lullaby? Sammy, we just need to play the wonderful sounds. We turn on the motor. Then the lights. And enjoy the melody. It's my favorite song. I'll be right back. I love you, baby. And if it's quite alright. Sammy! So, it's really the best goodnight lullaby. I didn't notice how I fell asleep. All for you. Now you'll be 100% slime fresh. Right you are. Healthy sleep is now guaranteed. Guys, give a thumbs up if you liked our robot and his lullaby. And don't forget to share this video with friends. And subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye. Good night. Oh, I mean, see you soon.